For CN100, I'm Megan Kluth, and we're at the Metro Chicago for Theo Epstein's A Foundation to be Named Later Hot Stove Cool Music. We're going to catch up with Theo, some athletes, and the musical performances to see what this charity is all about. How did Hot Stove Cool Music get started? Hot Stove Cool Music started um, actually back in like 2000 by a few baseball writers who love music and instead of having a charity golf tournament they wanted a charity rock show and then I got involved in 2002, kind of merged it with this foundation I started with my brother and kind of took off from there. Tell me how you got involved with Hot Stove Cool Music. I have some friends uh, who happen to be Boston musicians and um, when Theo got the job to come to Chicago we kind of joked around, hey maybe we should bring Hot Stove here and uh, about a month later we made it happen. So. You know, they do it in January in Boston, and I've been able to go there the last couple of years, and this is the third one here in Chicago, so uh, it's been really fun. I'm a big music fan, and uh, it's just so cool to just to get to hang with all these stars and people who I really admire, and they want to talk baseball, and I want to talk music. For me, the whole thing, all this fun and games is, is, is cool and fun, but it's really about helping kids, so the mission of the foundation is to raise money and funds for uh, organizations that help disadvantage you, so that's what it's all about. How is this one different from the one that's in Boston? This one, the weather is much better. It's a one's in June and uh, the one in Boston is always in January but um, this one's great because it's uh, we always do it after a Cubs game and Joe Shanahan is awesome lets us use the metro and it's right across the street so it's like a full day event where we go to a Cubs game hopefully win like we did today walk across the street um, have a great time listening to fantastic music rubbing shoulders with ball players and raising money for charity the fact that uh, we raise a lot of money for uh, children's charities uh, a lot of groups uh, and organizations who are in desperate need of it uh, not only in Boston but obviously here in Chicago and uh, the foundation to be named later has done wonderful work uh, not with just this event but with a lot of other charitable events and you know, there are a lot of difficult ways to raise money, and there are a lot of fun and easy ways to do it. This is a fun and easy way to raise a lot of money for a great cause. The Cubs charities are phenomenal in Chicago, but it really helps with it. the foundation we named later. It's so hard to be able to get funding for these small nonprofits that really do so much good for the community. We have so much contact with them. Just being able to help kids, they've been kind enough to name all the college scholarships and the Gammon scholarships, so it's really important to meet, meet these kids and see them be able to go to college where they couldn't have gone. How did you get such big names to come out and perform? There's always been a thing where athletes want to be musicians, musicians want to be athletes, and there's a lot of crossover between the sports world and the music world. So I think when Theo uh, came out here, he quickly was approached by a lot of Chicago musicians when they heard about this. And it's almost like we didn't even have to ask them. They, they wanted to be part of it. It's cool. Are we going to see you out on stage tonight? Yeah, I'll get up there and make a fool of myself for a couple songs and uh, just kind of let the pros uh, kind of carry me along. This venue, the Metro, is, as everyone in Chicago knows, an amazing place. Very similar to the one in Boston. It's got the same vibe. It's a cool rock club. We do it at the Paradise in Boston. So we're thrilled that we found a home. Joe Shanahan, we're eternally grateful to him to hosting it. If you're not here this year, make sure you come next year because uh, everybody who comes always comes back for the following year.